Come on yes. in. Come they on look in. like they like them. I'll have grateful. you hold this. Yes. And what's your name? My name is Daryl. Daryl, how old yes. are you? I'm 26. 26. Yes. All right. And Daryl, yeah, what do you do? He's too young for her. Um, right now, I'm currently a bud tender at Cura Leaf Pavilion. Okay. But I also have a bachelor's degree in family and consumer science. Nice. And I'm a registered child care provider. Like, okay. um, Family and my, consumer um, independent science. Independent insurance out here in Arizona right now. So okay. You feel me? Just, you know, working on myself. Love that. All That's right. Okay. I'm sorry. I've never heard of that degree. Is that some shit that they do at Arizona State University? Family and consumer. I've never heard of that. Is this like if you want to be in a brand manager, like an ABM? Um, family and consumer sciences. Okay. It looks like uh, that is wild. I've never heard of no shit like that. What? What? My first assumption is, is that this is some shit that you can't get a job in doing. Family and consumer science jobs. Let's take a look at it like that. Um, wait a minute. Is this man holding a bag out here? Um, it... it d it, does this man have a purse? Uh, hold on. I, I'm I'm just curious, and you guys are going to be curious with me. I, I'm, I'm, oh, wow. Director, Science and Machine Learning, Sirius XM. Um, that's not the same thing. Quality Assurance Team Leader, Shift Manager, Senior Product Manager, Generative, uh, these are two AI positions at Capgemini. Teacher, Family, and Consumer Science. Oh, it's to be a teach. Can you be a principal with this shit? This is so odd. I've never heard of this. Yeah, there's a lot of teacher positions. Okay, so it's it's more than likely it's to be an administration for a school. Um, I don't like that he's holding a man purse. I, I, don't, I don't like it. I'm not a fan. Let's, let's just listen to what he has to say. Hey, okay. And now, um, what type of woman do you look for? Um, graceful, mm -hmm. gentle. You feel me? Just this is good answers. I mean, you know, beautiful. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Graceful. Okay. Uh, I like that. A woman who likes me. Mm -hmm. You feel me? I, I you know, um, I don't exactly have any preference. You feel me? But I, I, I do like a woman who know what she wants. Okay. You feel me? All right. So we did yeah. have a couple balloons popped. Let's go ahead and go to a few okay. of these ladies, see what's going on there. Okay. All Understand. right. Let's start right on over here. And if we can know your name and why you popped your balloon. Hi, my name is Lovely. Hello, darling. Hi, nice to meet you. You're too young. Uh, you're very handsome. She's 40 you have plus. dreamy eyes, by the way. Thank you. Thank dreamy, you. I, dreamy. I really appreciate that. Uh, it's your age. Um, I am a... I'm a little too young. I'm a 41-year-old woman with okay. an adult child that just turned 25 on Martin Luther King's birthday. Same age. But I love the briefcase. Thank I you. love, you know, I'm the flower in your back. pocket. Trying to bring it back. Bring and it back. then you said that you do insurance. I'm a market director for insurance. Oh, yeah. So, we yeah, we might need to connect. Some business. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, definitely. On a business level, for sure. Definitely. <laughs> definitely. I apologize that I'm too young. No, don't apologize. AJ uh, number to number, but definitely. you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I'm still working on me. Exactly. It's not you. It's me. Okay. No problem. No problem. Thank you. Okay, and now, is she your type? She's a beautiful woman. I don't exactly got no type. Mm -hmm. I understand beauty. You feel me? I, I, I pretty much, you feel me? Look at them, see what I like, you know? Okay. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Listen, if the guy came into the studio and there's no lockers and he was concerned about, uh, and let's say like this is what he, he has legitimately a laptop or something in here and he just didn't want to leave it back there because he didn't trust the people behind there. Maybe that's the context that I need to be able to understand this. But to me, it's odd behavior to walk out here with a bag in your hand. Uh, that's just that's just odd work. To yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, all that. But I do understand that if he if he didn't trust the people in the back and he thought his shit was going to get stolen. All that, so all you that. fill in what all you that. see. No, she look good as hell. Go you, I'm, <laughs> you. But you, you are a very beautiful woman. Thank you. You feel me? And, I you. You know, they're sitting up. She oh. righteous. <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay. She You're righteous. honest. That's she good. She righteous. She righteous. Thank you. She, she said, I'm just right. saying, no, that's our next lady here then. <laughs> He, he okay. came on here for some your cake. Your name and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name is Linda, and I ended up popping my balloon because just hearing him yeah. and what he said is just... No. I'm, I'm from Chicago, darling. We try to be as transparent as possible. I it's apologize. It's understandable. Yeah, you, don't, you don't like the city, baby? <laughs> <laughs> it's history. Understandable. But, yeah, it was just, uh, you, know. you know. I mean no disrespect to her. You know, she's just a beautiful woman, and what I see, I like to say, you feel me? So women can feel what I say, yeah. so no disrespect. But you are very handsome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that. You fly as hell. Thank you. you. I see you. I see you. 
Period. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and go on to our next girl here. Your name and why you ended up popping. Uh, so my name is Rhea, and honestly, I was all in until he said he was from Chicago. And I'm sorry, I just literally came from a very. I'm sorry. I know I just can't. I can't hear where I was. You know, born, but really. I don't. I don't. Man, maybe I shouldn't have popped my balloon. I can't help where I was born. <laughs> Hold on, can I get another that's, that's, balloon? That's mama. That ain't that ain't got these, nothing to do with me. But Hold on, I appreciate okay, your right, time. You, know you feel me? This is fair chance. Yeah, okay, this, so this is a beautiful. It's so interesting listening to these women deselect men and the reason why. And you just sit, you just sit there, just listening to them, just scratching your head. Full experience. I appreciate your time. Cause you are very handsome, a, and you. I'm like, thank you. The tattoos really got me. Thank you. They, yeah, they, do you they have very more? No, all of my tattoos are on my neck. They very symbolic. Um, growing up, I was just shy. They you look very me? tribal. I, was, uh, I, I really. I, um, the reason why I got tattoos on my neck is to you feel me hold my head a little higher. When I was young, very nervous. I used to be in sports. You feel me? So. I, I only have tattoos on my neck to, you feel me, be able to keep my head high. Do you feel me? It's to, crazy. You feel me? I'm a good man. Stand tall. Yeah, you seem very like Thank a good you. man. I appreciate that. You know what? I want my balloon back, right. actually. All right, all right. So I can't do this the whole city. Yeah. But like, but I will crazy. be honest and say, like, I literally just came from dealing with someone that came from Chicago. And sometimes the logic... For me, I'm from the South, so mm -hmm. I'm from Houston, Texas. Mm -hmm. So the way that my brain works is a, or my thought process is a little different. I know this from um, kind of what I like deal with, but yeah. you seem pretty cool. Like I yeah. would definitely be interested I, in, I, I, I don't I know if I'm, I'm your type, unique, but darling. I, I, I love I your tattoos, you I love your swag, and I love them Chicago shoes. Thank you. I love them Thank shoes, so I'm a model myself. I see that you, I, I never did that Are before, fashionable. but I, you, I, I, I thank you for that compliment. No, for real? Yeah. Oh, but you put your fit together nice. I like that I just that work brief. hard, baby, yeah. I'm I like that five, briefcase. Like, I mean, hours, no. 50 hours a week. Like, like, you came in here stepping to me. I'm trying to bring it back. So, you I like, it? I I'm like the whole swag. Okay. Yeah. I'm trying to bring it back. I know. like the watch. You got the necklaces on. I mean, you 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 got it for me. Thank you, baby. I'm a simple man. It's just I'm that city. Man, I don't know, yeah. but I have to get to know you just you. I Every every nigga from Chicago ain't the same. You feel me? Nah, that's 100%. I ain't no gangbanger. You feel me? I'm educated. You feel me? I done worked hard all my life. My resume, incredible. You feel me? So okay. everybody ain't the same. I understand mm. from Chicago, you feel me? It's a okay. couple women I probably wouldn't deal with if they was from this side or that side. So I ain't oh, tripping. no, I, I ain't ain't tripping on you. It. I ain't tripping on you. You good. But you are very handsome, though. I'm tripping on you. <laughs> yeah, I'm tripping on you. What can you? What does that mean? She popped the balloon off rip. I'm like, I'm tired. Oh, you look good. You look good. You look good. Yeah, yeah. No, you're a very beautiful woman yourself. Okay, yeah. we'll be back because you got your balloon back. Let's yeah. go to some yeah. of the ladies yeah. ended up popping. Yeah, we gonna come back to her. Yeah. <laughs> I'm an ugly type shit. I'm an ugly uh, type shit. You feel me? A am I unattractive to you type shit? Type shit. I just feel okay. I want to know what's in there. Are there pol <laughs> are there are there? Well, you let me find think. out. That, Is the policies? Your policies in there? Whoever actually wanted to find out for yeah, I was gonna ask. Would have been able to. Whoever wanted to find out would have been able to. Y'all didn't want to stick around to find that out. There's something so, in there. I don't know if there was it policies It is. It definitely there. is. Of course, a suitcase wouldn't be empty. But whoever wanted to actually find out, they would have been able to. You feel me? Oh, well, I, and then as Type you were shit. speaking to the other lady, I'm, my name's Adana, by the way. Uh, as you're speaking nice to, to meet you, Adana. Cheers. So as you were speaking to the other ladies, I thought if I wouldn't be able to get rid of you if, if we broke up or something. Like, I feel like something's... You're up to something. <laughs> um, I'm up to something. 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 Like no, the spirit I'm, of confusion. This is a something. blessing. I I never oh, been through nothing know. like this before. You yeah. feel me? Okay. Uh, and, and in college, I was in a committed relationship for about three years. So you feel me? I never expected something like this. You know, I was in real love before. So, you know, this is new. You know, I'm happy to be here. I'm ecstatic to meet all of you women. Y'all you, look amazing, home bro. So, yeah, for now. For now, I'm like, you hear me? This, what are you looking at? Yeah, everything. You you oh. tough. You tough as hell. I'm a brick house, but. Yeah, everything. Everything. All that. All that. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm a provider. So, you feel me? Tough. What it's kind tough. of provider? No, it's tough. You, oh, you God. It's tough. Oh, oh I'm okay. She's yeah, like, tough. give okay. me my balloon, bro. He's, he's okay. 
<laughs> yeah, that's tough. Let's go what on to our next lady here. You tough. You, you, yeah, you got that shit tough. on. I'm you got that tough. shit on. You got that shit on. Yeah, I got that shit on. Bob and that thing. I'm yeah. fucking with you. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. I'm yeah. gentleman. You and your yeah, I'm family. fucking with you. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. yeah all I don't know. You give toxic. That's that's why I pop my balloon. I don't know. I don't know. It's, you ain't it's, even want to find out. It's like as soon as I set my foot in it, I'm melting. Yeah. I get it done. Yeah. I get it done. I don't, I don't but know. I, ain't, I I don't be on bullshit. I'm very communicative, respectful. I, you feel me? Like the only reason why I'm in Arizona right now is because my grandmother started going through some struggles through COVID. So you feel me? Just wanted to make sure I looked after her for a little bit more. I don't like playing with me. So. Mm. And you 26. It's playful. Stop. Oh, how old yeah, how old I'm thirty one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Big girl. Yeah. <laughs> I respect it. Yeah. I'm a provider though, darling. Okay. You feel okay. me? No matter what the age was. Mm. But I appreciate the opportunity. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yeah, you. I'll be honest. Um, I'm trying to give this young man a uh, place to be himself, but I'm getting theat. It, I'm, it, it's like a th- it's like a theater. I'm getting theatrical. Dudes talk like this to me, and <laughs> I, I'm like, I'm looking at you, I'm looking at your mannerisms, I'm watching your hands. When I see behaviors like that, I don't trust you. I'm less likely to trust you, you feel me, type shit, like all of this different types of shit. It's it's boy shit, but he's 26, so I'll give him a little bit of an allowance. But the educated act, <laughs> it's, it's slowly losing itself. I understand, but it's just hard to even take him serious because it's too extra. It's a lot of theatrics. You know what's interesting is that he said that he has a neck tattoo because he wanted to come out more because he was quiet as a child. You know, if that's his story, that's his story. But he gives me um, finesse. I'm a finesser vibes in a way that he's speaking. So you feel me? The type shit, right? Like it's it's not, this is not an educated. You could be intelligent. You could be very intelligent. Uh, but the way that you are displaying yourself is not educated type shit. <laughs> okay. All right. So we got three ladies. To me, this is like, um, there are dudes in the hood that think that they're very like educated just from like they read a couple of books and shit like that. Like he reminds me of dudes that thinks that he's like infinitely educated just based off of <laughs> like the way that he can spin words to a degree. I know what you're doing. Yes. Okay. Okay. That still have their balloon up. Okay. So... Can I see one of your toothpicks? Thank you. I'm gonna hand this over to you. Just be careful with the briefcase and the mic. Okay. All right. You got you it. Why you pop yours? You ain't fucking with me. Personally, you talk like my little brother. Oh, hold on. Let yeah. me go ahead. Go How on back. You? I'm 26. Okay. And you and you and you talk like my little brother. I Where feel like from? I'm talking to my little Chicago as well. Oh. Isn't that crazy? Okay. Yeah, you're very gorgeous though, but I don't like that you put the fake flower in your vest trying to make it look better than what it was. Yeah. I don't like that you brought a fake briefcase. There's probably nothing in there, and it's also halfway open. You should probably close it. What, also, what I don't like that the fact that you. Oh my gosh, she's flaming. What would be Why do you have a, hat a fake on? briefcase though, though? Fake briefcase. I mean, the hair done. Something. It's done. It's done. So why didn't you show your hair? That's what I wanted to do today. I don't understand. I just want to see your hair though. I get it. You feel me? I've I've dealt with. You feel me, Chicago women, most of my life. You okay, you feel me? Me and your brother probably sound alike because we done been through the same struggles, you feel me? But I could respect that. I just wanted to know what you was thinking about. That's all that was. It's just weird talking to my little brother, so. No problem. You can't say little. We the same age, darling. Let's be respectful. You sound like him, though. Oh, my God, I now hate her. Oh, I thought you was the one, baby. I rolled back my statements in the beginning, but I fell for the cutie pie. I said to myself, oh, she's only four foot eight. Give her some chance. Why did you just try to unnecessarily flame my boy? What is the reason? You know what's interesting for all of that? Because she's so short, she's probably used to getting ragged on. So she probably she probably is a good snapper. But all of that was just so unnecessary. What is it that you're doing? You're doing too much. Yeah, you're very gorgeous though, but I don't like that you put the fake flower in your vest trying to make it look better than what it was. Yeah. I don't like that you brought a fake briefcase. There's probably nothing in there. And it's also halfway open. You should probably close it. What, also, what I don't like that the fact that you put briefcase. your hat. What would be Why do you have a hat a on? Fake briefcase though, though. Fake briefcase I mean, the hair done. Something. It's done. It's oh. Done. Show, show your hair. That's what I wanted to do today. I don't understand. I just want to see your hair though. I get it. You feel me? I've I've dealt with you feel me, Chicago women most of my life. You okay, you feel me? Me and your brother probably sound alike because we done been through the same struggles, you feel me? But I could respect that. I just wanted to know what you was thinking about. That's all yeah. that was. It's just weird talking nope. to my little brother, so No problem. you can't say little. I'm you we the same 
oh, I hate her. You know, here's the thing is she has a terrible relationship with her little like this devilish smile as she talks all of this shit as if she won. She has a terrible relationship with her younger brother. That's why she keeps referencing him in a negative light when this guy is speaking. And it's always the little brother's fault, right? Like these are the big sisters that will stop at nothing to crush the, the young boys in their family. And the thing is, is like a future mother that has the ability to do shit like this. Oh, found it. Found it. Oh, okay. <laughs> you built like a little boy. <laughs> you cannot go on a snap spree up on YouTube and this is what you post up here. This is absolutely diabolical work. They got the men in black worms up here because <laughs> of this almost arch in your back. Ma'am, this photo is absolutely terrible. Can you imagine what, what it took to make this photo? She really got on the edge of a pool in someone's dusty backyard. She tried to put on the, oh, let me show off my 10 year old boy hit. Let's let all of this be exposed. Oh, but I'm on a dating show by the way, because I want to be selected by men. Let, let, let's let my 10 year old boy hit completely out. Let's show all of that. Let, let me close my eyes as you take photos. And then you actively chose to post this on your profile. <laughs> Ew, what is this, a fish? Did your brother approve of all this? <laughs> you just said, yo, they, yo they, they are cooking her. You need a BBL. Put your clothes back on. <laughs> are you a man? Oh, God. Flat chested. Is that a man with 16 likes? Oh, they are cooking her. Ooh, brother. Ooh, what's that, brother? <laughs> Damn, you damn you built like no, and that's women. Women, are, oh no, that's a guy. My bad. Uh, stay humble. That flower in his shirt is better than your attitude. Get educated on how to speak without malice. This is very true. See, again, she's short, so she's probably used to hearing short jokes. So she's probably quick. She's developed this quickness with snapping, but she just util she just utilizes it for evil. You have to be very careful of demon serpent tongues just like this. Um, you know, it's because she's also in the face. She's half pretty. Humble yourself. You think that you're better than a polite, educated man, and you tried to publicly tear him down because he spoke casually. Your character is very flawed. Very true. Fatherless ah pose. Oh, they are cooking her. Oh, they are cooking her. The nerve of you to have a chest smaller than mine. And you were over here cooking this man that did not sound anything disrespectful in a way that he... My critiques to him is just based off of the image that he is presenting. What you mean a fake bag? What, what is your definition of fake? Like, like, what's the reason for all of that? The nerve of you, child. The nerve of you. If you're a model, I'm a transformer. <laughs> you be at the gym skipping chest day. God damn, they are toasting her. Damn, the internet ain't letting shit slide. I'm glad you getting roasted. She was so mean to him. Yeah, word. It was literally for no reason. So if you give that energy, baby, you can probably take it. So that's why we taking it there. Little bro pose. <laughs> the word model gets thrown around too much these days. Oh, they are cooking her alive. And rightfully so. The nerve of you, you coward. Let's go. Maze, darling. Let's be respectful. You Let's sound be like respectful. It. That's so because we're from the same place. So you don't like no, you don't like not. people from your hometown. I never said and that. And that's respectful. <laughs> oh, I, look at respect that. I just want a man with a higher vocabulary, okay. which you don't have. On your day-to-day -day speak. Wow. Speaking to all the other women, trust. I know. You're good. I I I I talk like where I was born from. I got I got a real like Respect. I, I can't let you like you feel me. Throw down what I've been through. You feel me? I'm I never a, said what I, you went I, through. I'm just was. saying though, you 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 tried though, darling. No, I you feel it. me? So I want you to know, like, I'm really from struggle. I I speak a certain type of way, but I've searched for education. I have a bachelor's That's degree. That's fine. You feel me? What I what I do right now, I work mm -hmm. with people every day. So I don't want you to just throw shade on 
hood niggas in general. I wasn't throwing shade I on you, I speak with a little slang. Why I got she a grabbing her bra? Uh, like, there ain't no titty in there, baby. It's just bra that you grab. So here's the thing is that I appreciate what he is doing because he is checking her in a very respectful way. And the thing is, what's crazy is, is that as he's talking to her, did you guys realize he's no longer doing the you feel me's? and the type shit. Did you guys notice that? I appreciate the way that this brother is defending himself. You, you tried though, darling. <laughs> you tried though, darling. I you feel it. me? So I want you to know. I like, did it. I'm really from struggle. I, I speak a certain type of way, but I've searched for education. Right. I have a bachelor's That's degree. That's fine. You feel me? What I, what I do right now, I work with mm -hmm. people every day. So I don't want you to just throw shade on. Why? It, what are you, what are you pushing up? Hood niggas in general. I wasn't throwing shade I on speak you, love. I wasn't throwing shade on you, love. Oh, you was a dirty gaslighter. When I have kids one day, I, like, I need, I'm going to read as many books as I can, especially if I have a little girl. I'm going to read as many books as I can as to not create an evil, evil woman. Or, right? Like, I'm going to do as much research as I, as I possibly can. I'm going to be home for her as much as I possibly can. How do I not make you evil? This is evil work. Little slang. I got a little hood to me, but I'm educated. Baby. He do. No, that's fine. We can move forward. Thank you. Okay, let's go ahead and go to our definitely. three ladies definitely. that still have their balloon on pops. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> tough, <laughs> tough. Okay, so, um, oh, the yeah. Camera. Go ahead. There you go. So, off these three ladies that we have here, I'm gonna have you pop one of their balloons just based off of what you're seeing so okay. far. I, I would like to pop her balloon because initially she was a chance because of where I'm from. Mm. Yeah. Okay. All right. Sorry about that. Now, if you remember, she grabbed her balloon back and had that discourse. So the look on her face was of genuine surprise. Initially, she wouldn't give me a chance because of where I'm from. Mm. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, okay. that's All what right. that face was. Sorry oh. about that. <laughs> And so now we got two ladies yes. left. Yes. So do you have a question that you oh, want I to forgot ask about ladies her. to kind of help it narrow down? If Cobble pot. Oh, yeah, of course. Me. Go um, for it. Um, what, what would be an example of humility for you? <laughs> an example of humility for me is somebody trying to give me that open, constructive criticism in the way that I respond back to it. That's that maturity answer. level. I like that. I like that. Thank you. And then if he and could have your name. My name is Connie. Connie, Connie where Marie. Are you from? I'm from California. Okay, I, I've been to California only once in my life, so I've never been to Chicago, so yeah, we can't. We can't yeah. Okay, <laughs> okay. understandable. Okay, oh uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I right. think Connie is a beautiful woman. You feel me? She mm -hmm. grown. You mm -hmm. you know? You feel me? She know what she want. You feel me? I, I take care of business. She seemed like she want to be taken care of, so. I would be honored I if we matched. I seem like I want to be taken care of. No, not, not exactly that. like you feel me, but I said I was a provider when mm -hmm. I first walked up and you still got your balloon. So mm -hmm. you feel me? Like I, that's just shit I like to do. I got a grandmother, a little sister. Like, you know, I like to take care of the women that's in my life. That's just something I like to do. You feel me? Do you allow your woman to be able to pull their weight around the house too though? If you, if you, what you want to do, you your own person. You're right, absolutely. You feel me? You, you can do whatever you want to. But, but no, it's just because, you know, it's a certain type of role that, you know, men like to upkeep when it comes to coming across a woman. So it's like at the end of the day, are you allowing your woman to be able to provide when you out there providing too, though, as far as being able to pull that weight? I, I, I wouldn't mind, darling. You feel me? Like, and we in a new day and age, you feel me? Facts. Women got their own jobs, their own education, their own things going on. You feel me? I just, I just really, you feel me? I work hard. I got three different businesses. You feel me? I'm an owner of something. Like, I, I got a full-time job. Like, I want to be loved, but I don't, I don't mind a woman have her own thing going on. I ain't no hater. Okay, you feel me? Good. We get to it together. You got so, kids? I got one son. Okay, yes, so you don't mind a woman with kids? Hell no, nah, hell no. Nah. You want more? <laughs> yes, I wouldn't mind, you feel me? My, the, the mother of my child has her own family going on, you feel me? So it's not like I got any drama going on. I just financially support, see my son when I'm able to see him, you feel me? So you feel me? I don't mind a okay. woman who have her own You got thing. your own space out here too? Hell yeah, I okay, do my so own thing. It. 
I find it so interesting uh, when he's responding to the little tyrant down at the end, he's not doing this speech of you feel me and right. Like, but when he's talking to uh, like, what is that? I don't even think I have an answer for what that is, how he switches his dialogue, how he switches his diction. And it just drops down his perceived intelligence level that he does that. Perhaps he's doing that in replace of like or um. And that's just his response as he's thinking through shit. And the thing is, is that guys, as you think through the way that you speak, whether it be public speaking, what have you, it is way more effective to not say anything than to say um or like to replace it with these filler words it is much more image appropriate if you just pause and then go on to your next word cut out the ums cut out the likes record yourself speaking in order to see exactly how it is that you sound because you may not even understand all of the ums and the likes that you're doing let me know something now, yeah okay. yeah 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 i'm new too so you feel me like me i ain't got no I ain't got no like he went to he went to speaking very well and very clear when he was entertaining the little toxic tyrant down here at the end troubles no background and nothing like that i'm new here okay me too yeah. for sure yeah 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 okay all right all that yeah oh <laughs> uh, yeah 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 she tough yeah okay yeah. i see that you're, you're you're feeling her no she the thing she the oh, thing okay. she was gonna get chose anyway so i'm oh. I'm, I'm 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 actually blessed and grateful she yeah 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 okay I yeah. mean, you said you were going to get chose. Mm-hmm. You, 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 <laughs> I, 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 I We'll be right back. Re One second. Respectfully, you was a beautiful woman. You feel me? I like the pink hair, the singlet. Mike. You're doing your, you, the pink hair, the singlet. The singlet. You're doing your thing, matching the hair with the heels. Um, y'all all tough. Y'all all very beautiful women. You feel me? I, you I'm feel already me? knowing. These niggas ain't got nothing on y'all. You feel me? So, <laughs> I, you feel me? I think you're a beautiful woman. No disrespect to you, but... This the hood queen right here, you feel me? And I'm from the ghetto for real. You feel me? My art, I'm, I'm an artist, I make music as well, you feel me? I'm a singer and songwriter as, a, as well as a rapper. I go by humble hood. So like, you, you feel me? You, you look like, you feel me? What I'm, what I'm, what I want. Um, bro. That shit. Calling it a singlet is wild. <laughs> like, I, I guess, I guess the, the cobble pot onesie is something that would make sense. I, I'll be honest with you, I'll be honest. I think him and her are literally made for each other. If they select each other, I will not be mad. I will not be upset. After looking at her profile, seeing the image that he likes to portray about himself, I think that they are made for it. They both got kids. I legitimately think that they are made for each other. He won't be mad her going to the club like this. He won't be mad at this. In fact, he will probably think that this is a flex, but we're different men. It just is what it is. Yeah, but the violator singlet is absolutely crazy. <laughs> I am the violator, Mark Henry. <laughs> is this a singlet as well? Does Marcus Henry have on a singlet? Did they shop at the same stores? One is a hood, a hood lord, and the other one is the trap queen. Let's just keep going. Okay. Umbro. Um, bro. Um, okay. Bro. It sound good. Yeah. Okay. I mean, okay. You yeah. don't see that, cause All I mean, baby, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a grown woman. Oh, I got two hands. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All you got that. two hands. All right. <laughs> Say less. Then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so let me have you both come on up up here. You could just stand on this side of me, please. <laughs> okay. And I heard you say you do music. Yeah. What, what kind of music do you do? Um, I sing, I rap, I'm a, a songwriter, performer. I have a music video that I recently put out. Mm -hmm. Just, you feel me? I, I ain't nobody, I don't know if I'm somebody special, but I'm trying. You feel okay. me? One of those. Could, yeah. Could I'm, we hear a little something? Right, like, you know, let me hear you sing something. Mm -hmm. I, you know. I, no, I, okay. I mean, I, if you need a beat, I got you with the beat. Let I, me know. I, I wouldn't mind. I, I wouldn't mind. Um, I say, like, baby, your body. Hold on. Oh, no. Can I put this down? Go ahead. We still want to know Can what's in there. Can I do a song request? Can I do a yeah. song request? You want a specific song? Yeah, I, you feel I want to try a song request. So I, Anxious I, by Jenny Wine. Let me try that one. You said what? So Anxious by Jenny Wine. So, Anxious. Uh, you 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 want me to sing Maybe slow, slow, oh. slow. But I ain't like I, I ain't genuine. You feel me? Right. So I I was gonna like try. Oh my God, the cringe. His song is called "You Feel Me." <laughs> he got a song called "Type Shit." Uh, Quest. You want a specific song? Yeah, I, you feel I wanna, me? I want to try a song request. Cause so I, anxious I, I, by Jenny Wine. Let me try that one. 
You said what? So anxious. Meet me at eleven thirty. I love it when you're talking. You, you, you want me to sing slow, Seven. slow, slow, but I ain't like, I, I ain't genuine, you feel me? Right. So I, I was going to like try one of my own songs, you feel me? See if you fuck with me, you feel me? Just something that I got. <laughs> Yo, this chick right here is such a hater. <laughs> this chick is such a hater. What, what, what? Slow. Oh! August Alcina in the I building. Ain't like, I, I ain't genuine. Look at, you feel look, me? Look at her. So look at her. I, I was gonna like try one of my own songs. You feel me? See if you fuck with me. You feel me? Just something look that at, I got. Look at. I, I, I don't, <laughs> She's such don't a hater. specifically Go slow ahead. wine. You Go feel ahead. Me? Do, do your own thing. Go ahead. Let's yeah, hear. Yeah, I'm, I'm a rapper first, and I know how to hold a tune. You feel me? So I say like, baby, your body amazing. You feel me? Like. Baby, your body be calling, I'm feeling like answering, staring at you like a mannequin. Come over here and come get some of this, I be handling all of the business you bantering about, I'm about en route, come outside. Baby girl, I'm about to slide, come over here, girl. I ain't gonna lie, I had a couple oh, drinks, but no. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie like you feel. Baby girl, I'm feeling like. Oh, I can't take the courage. You know what's so crazy about this? This is like, you can't say things that you're involved with the businesses that, and then you're asked to give an example and this is the end result. Sorry guys, we're gonna have to bring you through that cringe one more time. I can't let this For go. first, and I know how to hold a tune, you feel me? So I say like, baby, your body amazing, you feel me? Like, baby, your body be calling, I'm feeling like answering, staring at you like a mannequin. Come over here and come get some of this, I be handling all of the business you bantering about I'm about en route, come outside. Baby girl, I'm about to slide. Come over here, girl. I ain't gonna lie. I had a couple of drinks, but I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie like you feel me. I no, no. To slide, come over here, girl. I ain't gonna lie. I had a couple of drinks, but I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna come lie like you feel me. I had a couple of drinks, gang. But but you feel me i had a couple drinks i'm lit up i ain't gonna lie you feel me but i i i will i i do got a couple tracks out there you feel me a couple i want to hear the sing impression you should have kept your mouth shut at this point this is what you refer to as a humiliation ritual okay we already see that you have bad form when it comes to the the musical content please stop please take control please walk away Please save yourself, black man. Okay. Hold on, I got you. I got you. Hold on, hold on. Hold on I got Stop you. Stop trying to play me, gang. You ready? You gotta hit it though. Okay, hold on. Oh no, she's not beatboxing. Damn, you actually talented as hell. Can I get the lyrics? I don't know the lyrics. Oh. Oh. Oh, guys, you got to take control of this situation. This is the humiliation ritual. Or at least be good at what this is. God damn. Yeah. Okay. He is 26, so he don't know this song. Can I get the lyrics? I don't know the lyrics. Oh, yeah. All alone. Oh, <laughs> Paging you. I don't know the lyrics. Wishing you come over my place. Can you say that one more time, darling? After Thank a while. You. Like, let me know. She was hitting it low key. All right. I get, she, I get. She was hitting it low key. Get it, but I, I, don't, I don't know the song. I don't want to disrespect Genuine. You feel me? I'm broke. <laughs> Yeah, folks, feel are, me? folks are talented artists, um, bro. Like I got my he own is. original music. If you wanted me to perform that, I would. But you feel me? I, 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 I get you on a spot like yeah. just to see what you're saying. And I don't mind. Like. You feel me? I would have performed, um, bro. Now, you feel um, bro. Me? But you said, <laughs> um, bro, you said genuine. Now. I'm twenty. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Twenty-six. Yeah. He's not gonna know so anxious. We gotta give him a little bit of respect there. Uh, unfortunately, this type of dude that the chicks would get pregnant by. <laughs>
<laughs> Real talk. I don't mean. I mean, he kind of alluded to earlier that he's not in his child's life. Nothing. I just don't know the lyrics. What you want me to mumble on national television? <laughs> like, okay. I'm not finna do well no disrespect. <laughs> To be honest, if you do music as a 25, 26 year old, you gotta have an all anthology of who did it, who came before you. Not just August Alcina and Chris Brown. All right, you gotta go back in time. You gotta go at least through the top three uh, uh, highest grossing, uh, uh, largest reach songs of all of the artists back in the 90s. Every young man should know So Anxious from Genuine. Right, so. Maybe he could sing for y'all when he go right, on your first right. date. So is it gonna be a yes for you for him? Yeah, that's a yes for me. And then what about you, sir? Is it a yes for you for her? Hell yeah. Hey. Hell. He gonna be squeezing cheeks. I can see it now. <laughs> we got another match. Oh, wow, wow. We knew there was nothing in there. I ain't The hood princess. All right, thank you guys for coming. Let's give it up for them guys. <laughs> hold up, hold up. I'm sorry. We need to take a brief look. So you have the normal pop the balloons, and then you have the catch up shows, right? So where he needs to. So that's all that it pretty much was. I just wanted to see what type of woman he was referring to as what type of woman he liked because. I would have I had to just make sure it wasn't the type of woman I don't that he's just feel like, OK, I want to provide for you completely. Mm -hmm. Like, I want to be able to help, too. Like, okay. you know, so oh, yeah, that's pretty much what it is. Just for, you know, clarity on that one. <laughs> OK, cool. Thank you for that. All right. So the main question that I know everybody is just dying to hear about. Have you guys gone on a date since you matched? <laughs> no. Oh, <laughs> okay um and why not do you want to start it off um i'll let Darryl Darryl start okay it off. well go ahead with Daryl then go ahead um, i prefer if she starts <laughs> oh okay sorry go ahead Connie Marie. we'll have you take it off okay well for starters um i'm very big on energy mm -hmm. and vibes so based off of i'll let i'll ask certain questions and i would expect a person to talk long enough i would eventually hear how they reveal themselves mm -hmm. so when i asked on the show um, if he had his own space, he told me, he, he announced, yeah, to me, yet again, if you say, yeah, I'm thinking you have your own, you're, you're established out here. Mm -hmm. So when I asked him, um, oh, he, he live did, at home with his mama, you, you know, you weren't lying. You do actually have your own space out here. And then he was like, oh no, I was, he was like, I was lying. I live with my grandma. Oh. And I was like, what? Oh. like <laughs> you just, I'm like, okay, that was that one. And then another one was. When we were outside and oh, no. we were uh, smoking and then it was just for him to ask me and bring up the oh, no. if I was interested in being in a social media relationship. And what? yet again, just based off of his response, when we were speaking with each other on our Instagram messages, people come to the show for clout and some people actually come because they want a real connection. Mm -hmm. uh, all I can say is I wasn't one of them type of people that came. Oh, she's airing him out. Mm -hmm. I mean, yes, I did come for the experience, right. but I didn't come just to, you know, get that type of pr promotion or exposure like that. So okay. uh, oh, that was no. another one. And then the final straw for me was when we were He's sitting inside on the show, on the remainder of the show, I went back in and it was a, a gentleman I was wearing white that apparently he seen that I was not paying no attention to. And it was just the aggression that he had when he was speaking towards yeah. me. And it was like this dead serious look. Mm -hmm. And for your first, you know, yeah. your first, the first thing that comes to your mind is to ask me if I was sexual with this person, mm -hmm. knowing that wow. I don't know you or him. Okay, It's just with you being a man, it's like, it's certain things in certain ways on how you would come at your at your woman, yeah, especially is... in that type of in that type of scenery. And I feel like the way that he went about it, it just wasn't it just wasn't given for me. He's so agreeing I just felt like with that everything was just she's a saying. Big much, and it just gave off a lot of different. It set off triggers for me okay. because I've been in verbal aggressive. You know, I've been around men yeah. who are verbally aggressive, so it's like it's not something that I can't pick up on. And to me, I just I didn't want to take that route. So okay. yeah. yeah. What I see here is, um, and, and damn it, I nailed it. I got it correct. Um, what you see here is a product of the hood who's trying to do what's right, but he hasn't released, um, he, he hasn't released the emotionality that he was bred into. He hasn't, he hasn't released that shit yet. Getting mad, right? Like accusing her or, or asking her, yo, because of the dude, what, that's, that's nasty work. 
that is nasty work lying about the the living with your grandma yeah we didn't make it past if this is true so this all happened let's hear his side yes (laughs) yeah it it didn't he's agreeing the the entire time okay all right well let me go on over to daryl now if we want to hear from you as well please daryl i I can respect that you Mm -hmm. feel me everybody please daryl got their own um their own preferences and i i I did not specify that i wanted her to be in a social media relationship i told her that I, i feel like we had a good energy and like that was just fun. You mm-hmm. feel me? I want to get to know her more and I want to take her on a date. Mm-hmm. I wanted to record the date. I okay. actually had a videographer on standby with me. I had just shot a music video before okay. I had one on set. So I asked her if I could record the date. She stated to me that I would have to be in a committed relationship before anybody ever seen us on a platform with each mm-hmm. other. Sure. And I agree. I was with confused her. because we had just met on a platform. You feel me? So like like she has stated earlier, like you feel me? Like she she get into her bag. She you hustling. Feel me? She got invited to other platforms like she's been able to be box on other platforms i just i just don't really understand how you know she made the comment to me like she ain't doing things for clout but we met on a youtube tv show and mm-hmm. she's made multiple nah, different social media appearances i don't believe her. Mm-hmm. you know like i just work my little nine to five make my little music and I'm, like i really came to find love you feel me i ain't making no other social media appearances i ain't been on no podcast so i don't I ain't doing nothing for no clout. Mm. You feel me? And saying that you're not doing anything for clout, but also saying you wanted to record the first date with a videographer is odd to me. What are you gonna you're gonna post it, right? We talked outside as we had smoked with each other and that guy was outside with us. Okay. Keep in mind, like he wasn't a part of the show and I thought could nobody else be there. The only people who I seen before I noticed him was people on the show. Okay. He outside while we talking and having our first conversation. We come inside, we chop it up with some people, he buy us, and then we go sit down and watch the rest of the show, he buy us. You mm-hmm. feel me? And I, I'm going to be honest, the same, the same thing with one of the ladies on the show. The way that I communicate don't always resonate with everybody. So mm-hmm. even in the moment when I did, because I got to be transparent, mm-hmm. I did ask her if she was fucking a guy that was literally feet away from her the entire time that I was with her after the show. You feel me? Mm-hmm. But like her react, I'm a person. I seen her reaction when I asked. It mm-hmm. was like, so I so in the moment I'm like, am I tweaking? I I just wanted to ask because like he been everywhere we've been, okay. and she told me straight up like, yeah, you tweaking the way you asked me was aggressive, mm-hmm. and I said I didn't mean anything by it. I apologize. In the moment I apologize. Mm-hmm. So then we moved on and we got to talking to like the other individuals that was around during the show. Mm-hmm. But before then, she was asking me a few different questions about myself. I realized that none of them was to get to know who I am as a person. They was kind of like repeating the questions that she asked me on the show. What do you mean? She asked you about how you live to get to know you as a person and then you revealed to her that you lied. Financial status. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like, why do you need to know how I'm living? And I said on the show that I, I came out here to take care of my grandmother. Mm-hmm. So no, because you said that you are a provider. You said that multiple times. Now you're coming across as a liar. I honestly told that woman, you feel me? I Yeah, I told her, yeah, I did lie when she asked me. But at that point, we already sit in front of each other. We got we got some type of connection. Yeah. You've asked a couple questions to kind of try to see if like I'm the person you like. But at this point, you ask me multiple questions after question. Like, I think you a fine girl. I'm I'm saying you feel I'm saying the answers to win. Like I, I want to be able to live with I want to be able to leave with you. You feel me? Like right. you are very beautiful. So I'm answering the questions properly on the show. But soon we was afterwards, I, I was transparent. I'm like, yeah, I do. I, I said, no, I lied on the show. I stay with my grandmother, but I got my own space back at the crib. I'm from Chicago. Okay. I got my own space, you feel me? And I'm stable enough to be doing my so own he thing. Lied. My responsibilities ain't nothing that you have to worry about at all. You mm-hmm. feel me? But after that, the yeah, situation trash, with the guy baby. had happened. And I'm not even going to lie. When the situation that's with the trash. guy had happened, she was put off from it. But I don't even think she realized. I was kind of put off from it too. Because mm-hmm. I apologized. You feel me? And it, seemed, it still seemed like something she was dwelling on. Mm-hmm. So I continue to communicate with the other. Here's the only thing, if he's saying that he lives with his grandmother because he's like taking care of his grandmother, right? And he has like another crib somewhere else, but it doesn't sound like he's saying that. The people from the show, um, otherwise it's just a flat out lie. And we all went out to the club afterwards. Okay. So I ain't talked- And you both went out? No. Oh, you went out with other, oh, okay. Yeah, just other cast members. And I ain't talked to Connie for a couple days, but then I finally reached out. I was just like, hey, she don't, she don't hit me back. I'm gonna be honest. So I said, are you usually, I hit her up a couple days later, are you usually a busy woman mm-hmm. or you not interested? She explained to me in detail the three things that triggered her mm-hmm. and how it made her feel. Okay. I apologized again in message mm-hmm. and explained in detail how 
I'm sorry that it came off that way, but that ain't what I meant. Again, I had a couple drinks that night, so it might have came off a little aggressive than what it was supposed to be. Mm-hmm. But honestly, you feel me? Like it, it, it wasn't nothing towards you, like in, in, in full detail. And at first, she didn't accept that. It was more so like, yeah, but it made, but it, you feel me? It still kind of made me feel away. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, okay, understandable. We go our separate ways. Like it is what it is. You feel me? I wish you the best. Right. The clip comes out. The clip of me and Rizoma comes out and also another clip of like the pop the balloon. Okay. She posts it on her Instagram story and then she hit. Rizoma is the 48 hyena. It's me up. She hits me up. She like answer your phone. Mm-hmm. When I answer her phone and we chop it up on uh, Instagram, like like the video chat on Instagram. Okay. It was it, it, it seemed like we was rekindling like we was trying to get over. The the, situation. the the situations that she didn't feel comfortable with. Mm-hmm. We was the having a pretty good lies. conversation. But she got back to it again. And she she made like this little funny comment like, yeah, you really was tweeting because even even some of the girls had asked me like, you okay? Mm-hmm. And she tried to like laugh it off like it was nothing. But at this point, like you done brought up that once, you done brought up that night like five different times. I tried to move from it. So at this point, like I got an expression over my face. I'm like, I don't really feel like that's the truth because mm-hmm. I shared contacts with all the women and all the fellas after the show and afterwards we went out together mm-hmm. so if it was like a consensus idea that i was an aggressive man that was tweaking on you i don't feel like everybody would have you feel me like showed me so much love hung out with me afterwards okay at that time she it, it, it then changes from they was looking out to me to who what the fuck these bitches act like they want to be my friends all up in my face who so then i'm getting up under that like I don't really know y'all. I'm new here. I ain't trying to make like no messy situation. I ain't trying to have like, I, I, I'm just, I'm just, uh, what's the term I'm looking for? Uh, networking. Okay. I'm just networking, getting to know new people. You feel me? Then she was like, nah, I ain't with none of that fake shit. I'm new out here too. And bitches all up in my face. Like they my friends. Mm. So I tell her like, that ain't even something to be worried about. This, this is no, I'm not trying to be disrespectful. But if you listen to the way that he's describing the story, does he not sound like women in a hair salon? Does it not sound like that? Why does he keep rambling on and on and on and on? What is this? You feel me? Let's move forward. Yeah. She still dwells on it. When I'm telling you she's dwelling on it, it gets to a point where I'm like, man, worry about all of them. Like, if you really on bullshit like that, like, worry about all of them. Like, you feel me? If it's it's that important to you. Mm -hmm. So then she literally asked me, What's on your mind? Why your face like that? Cause I'm sitting there on the I'm sitting on the FaceTime like, like, man. She asked me, what's on your mind? I tell her like, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't really rocking with this. Like, I'm a peaceful man. I'm sorry, I can't listen to him go on anymore. I don't I don't want to hear all of the drama. Let me just see. There's some high points here in the conversation. As I'm not I don't care. That's gonna knock you from whatever, whatever. Mm-hmm. His response was, all that don't matter, pretty much. Like people want to see us. Like what? Us? Mm-hmm. Like what? So that's yet again. That's why I'm just sitting here like it, it didn't it didn't it didn't it didn't dawn on me and it kind of frustrated this me is, because this I'm is trying 20 to actually, minutes later. you know, soothe things over with you. But now as I'm seeing, it's funny because you know he's taking it as that's my way of reaching out to him mm-hmm. for the video going viral. I still don't want nothing to do with you. Mm-hmm. I mean, I just wanted to be cordial with you. So it's like it's not like I mean, by me posting Same. it, it's something that, you know, we could just be cool and laugh at, like, ah, oh, type funny, like I don't I don't plan on seeing myself with you to that caliber because you already showed me to me you're not a man that I would consider myself to want to date because for one, the way you reacted for two, the way your first response, you do not know how to communicate properly. That's very big with me. Mm. And it's just, it's his that was frame. just major turn off to me. Yes, he's a handsome man, but I am a sex, Thank a you, sexual sexual. So it's like, if I cannot connect with you on a more intellect, then it's like, we don't have anything to really talk about. And, and the crazy shit is the way that he grew up and the emotionality that he shows is literally the opposite of frame. It's literally the opposite. Okay. And now, Daryl, you mentioned that she spoke about you on a podcast. What was said? Yeah. And I also want to add, she tried to get me to go on that podcast with her. The the guy who asked me to be on it said, Connie, wants you to be a part of it. Yeah, that's definitely a lie. <laughs> oh, my God. I got the, I got the, I, all, all, yeah, I got, I got the Instagram. Some guy hit me up and said that he got a podcast with Connie. She wants to be on the podcast. Like, she mm-hmm. wants me to come on so we could be on there together. I even called Connie to see why do she want to be on a podcast with me and me and her are no longer in contact with each other yeah. and and like th- that's my thing it, and i believe that this one is the one she's talking about that she like co-hosts mm-hmm. so okay. that's extremely confusing i'm Definitely. not even gonna lie like th- this whole like 
I didn't know her social media presence. So when I asked to take her out on a date and my videographer recorded, I didn't know she had a few thousand followers. Like, and it don't matter how many followers I have. Like, mm -hmm. I like to put out good content to make sure people like to see good stuff. Like, I I, I just like to do good things. Like, it it, it didn't matter. It, it, and and when you when you listen to her, bro, it seeps out. I ain't gonna lie. Like, you feel me? It it, it seeps out. Just listening to her respond. Like, I I ain't gonna lie. I, I ain't gonna I ain't gonna keep like doing the back and forth about it she said her piece mm -hmm. i said my piece about the situation but you know what i also don't like about this is it's it's the frame of this she's sitting back she she she's sitting back looking at him the entire time of course arlette is looking at him but he's out and he's talking into space this this is and all like you baby and all transparency we had a conversation mm -hmm. and it stopped we decided we was no longer going to talk to each other. You feel it me? don't matter if me and you on the same video and my my clip is the one that's going around. You don't have to post me on your page. Me and you didn't have to have another conversation to try to like air some things out when we had multiple conversations. I'm sorry. I, I could not give a guy like listening to him ramble on and on. It's it's it. Th this to me is way more cringe than listening to him trying to sing or rap or whatever the fuck that he was trying to do. This this is a poor showing, gents. This is a poor showing. That you can understand. I'm why skipping I feel ahead. The way that I feel yeah. can because I? it's like at the end of the day, I'm not one the way that he would like to make it seem as if I'm clout chasing. Yet again, you can say whatever you want. The fact that if somebody sees me by being on a platform and inviting me out to go for an opportunity to network, what does that have to do with? Oh, I'm clout chasing. No, my whole intentions when I came into this whole, you know the pop the balloon it was not for clout it was for the experience whatever happened after that so be it but at the same time i'm not going to your page i'm not checking for you and me wanting but to, you know my follow account we, that was when we first started you, talking you're an interesting lady yeah. Look, how is how is it clout chasing that i want to record me spending money on taking you on a date but it's not clout chasing for you to want to bring me on your podcast and talk about it. sweetheart i never wanted to bring but you she on the podcast that's what the, that's what your i don't co -host care what the co-host told you oh, okay because that wasn't discussed with me so okay i don't care because you were never going to come on i was never going to know i wasn't never going to come because i declined the invitation that's i don't care about clout i do authentic things and I... people recognize it from who i really am <laughs> I've been getting recognition, recognition. Like you feel me? It, right. This ain't this ain't nothing new. You worried about that follower count? Who I am in real life? My face card decent. Like in real life, like you talking about that follower count? And it's different now. It's thirty five k now. Why are you talking about eight hundred? You're right, but you're. <laughs> it's different Yet now. Yeah, again, you're right. Uh, I, now. You know what? I give you your flowers Thank for you, coming Poole. up a couple of hundred. Thank you. You Poole. know, yours as absolutely. well. Absolutely. Okay, I give you your follow. I mean, your your flowers for that. Okay. Thank you, Pooh. Appreciate you. But, All right. Uh, well, yeah, <laughs> I I see this was kind of a tough situation for both of you guys to go through, but I thank you both for coming on and speaking your piece. All right, I, I'm done with this situation type shit. Until next time, family. <laughs>